Last week we shared a video talking about a bunch of different toxic mainstream beauty brands and we got a bunch of requests to do a deep dive specifically on the brand Clinique. So Clinique is actually owned by Estee Lauder, and Estee Lauder is really well known for their class action lawsuits, which have to do with them claiming that their product is one thing when the product does not actually include any of those ingredients. So Clinique has actually had a couple of class action lawsuits themselves. Um, they had two big ones in 2021. The first one, they were claiming that one of their products had probiotics in it, when it turns out that product actually had no probiotics in it and they were charging over $50 for this product. The second lawsuit, they were falsely advertising that their oil-free line was indeed oil-free when actually it contained a bunch of different oils, which is overall pretty concerning. Um, a lot of distrust around the brand. So now let's do a deep dive on a couple of their products. First, let's take a look at Clinique's High Impact Mascara. As you can see, EWG has rated it a 10 out of 10. And if you look at the first few ingredients, you can see that they are all parabens. It's really important to stay away from parabens because it can disrupt the hormones in your body, can cause fertility and reproductive issues, can affect birth outcomes, and can increase your risk of cancer. This product also contains phenoxyethanol, which has been linked to a range of different allergic reactions, ranging from eczema to hives to anaphylaxis. Next, let's take a look at Clinique's Quick Liner. This product was rated an 8 out of 10 on EWG, and it actually contains dimethicone, which is a forever chemical called PFAS. PFAS have been linked to liver toxicity, immune and endocrine system disruption, different neurobehavioral um, effects, neonatal toxicity and death, and also tumors in multiple different organs. This product also contains aluminum powder, which is a potential neurotoxin, and CI4200, which can cause skin irritation and redness.